Hello, welcome. Uh, if you're a fan of Switch's Grape is Challenge, then you need to be really aware of the perils of grape eating. And um, we're going to teach you about all the safety precautions you should take, the clothing you should wear. Um, Annie Mack, could you tell us about the board here? Well, um, I've been one of the most senior BBC health and safety officials, but quite yes. qualified to tell you about what we have here. Or basically about grapes, um, because things about the what temperature the grapes must be held in before they're put into yes. your mouth. Also precautions in terms of putting too many into your mouth can sometimes block the, the, the throat. Yes. Enforcing this, um, asphyxiation, which obviously yes. we know is never good. Never good. This is about the proximity of mouth to bin in case vomiting is needed. Yes, yes, yes. So that's there. And down here um, states that it must, I repeat, must always be a seedless grape used in the grape eating challenge. This is to make sure that you're a celebrity, or at least a pillar of society, so in order to do it. So, Kerry Katona, no. Down here we have um, just the ins and outs of the leaderboard, how that works, and, and what, yes. what exact information is stated about each score, and how the scores are coming out to the yes. results. Yes. We'd like to follow us now to the inner sanctum of the great eating. Follow me. Be careful of the step. Megan, Megan. Okay, so this is the most serious grape testing zone, um, as you can see here. Anna Bowman, executive producer at Radio 1, is just rolling the grapes just to see if any grapes do fall on the floor, just how far they go before they, you know, can cause a slipping hazard. Because once those bad boys are squashed and squished, mm. very, you're going to fall over. Dangerous. You're going to fall over. Here, dangerous. Um, we have Megan and Rob from the show testing just the space and the air within um, you know, the volume of the grape, and once it is thrown through the air, just how fast it will travel through the air. So that's about 30 minutes. Yeah, 30.6, I'd yeah. say, Grims. Okay, yeah. okay. So as you can see, it's a very safe, sterile environment. Everything checked. Yeah, you also must have the weather on. At all the times. background. Yeah, and BBC also, weather. grapes are, are, are most best checked around 6.30 p.m. Yeah. in the evening. It's peaked. I think that today we can safely say, I hope that we've managed to let you know that um, it's not something that is done, you know, in vain, no. the grape eating challenge. This just isn't to make people like David Jordan look stupid. No. It's actually an experiment. Yeah. Of everything. Yeah. You know, the whole circle of life, really. Mm -hmm. Not just grapes, there's so much more to it than that. Okay, so we're in the studio now, uh, the place where the grapeish challenge, or graping, as it's known in the safety industry, um, actually occurs. And so we've got a bin quite close to a celebrity. You should be no further away than the size of their foot. If you put the left foot in front of their foot, their right foot like that, it should form a T. The T makes the safety zone, T zone. Then the bin's here in case they need to be sick. Now, as you can see earlier, we had a casualty. Annie Mac of DJ fame, had to be put in the recovery position. How are you feeling, Annie Mack? Mm -hmm.